Hello there folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Revel Extreme here. Here we are all the new mods has dropped today on the 19th of September 2024. And yeah, Thursday almost end of the week and we've got some more new mods and yeah, got some nice little banger mods. Including a nice star there, but that's going to be towards the end. As always, time starts to be down below for every mod you want to look at today. Also, we're looking at some of the new updates first of all before we get into the new mods. So yeah, let's get with those updates and then we'll get on to the new mods for today. Starting off with our updates, we're going over update of Erling again. This was updated yesterday, but change log 1.0.0.1. This was by the Mod Hub team. Removed mod dependency of no longer available mods. So guessing this had some required mods, but they're no longer available on the Mod Hub and that all got removed. So, Giants himself made the decision to remove it. Arch, change log 2.0. This is by DD Mod Passion, 1.7 megabytes of download. And change log is add action for activate and deactivate the object storage. So, this means, I'm um, assuming by based on it, it means whether or not you can store objects or not, or if you want to just use it as a shed. And what, 20 grand for a 90 meter shed? Smallest one in that at 5 grand, 4.8 meters by 34 meters. That seems like a perfect good deal to me, to be fair on that. So, do check this out. We got the ACS Weights Pack by Care Kids and Modding, 3.84 megabytes download, change log 1.3.1. And yeah, change log is the tool camera has been removed for the ICO 850 kilogram, the 3D model has been reconstructed for the ICO 850, and the dirt and wear has been recreated. Along with that, some bugs has been fixed and my bugs has been fixed. Now for the Euromac R10554 sorted by EL Modding, change log 1.1, 37.71 megabytes to download, it's added a new rostrum and a new bucket. And the bucket, by the looks of it, costs 5 grand, holds 1500 litres. And the new rostrum, I'm guessing that's the Forester header and that, 5 grand, or log grab, that's 5 grand as well. So yeah, not too bad, nice little bit of kit by the seams. Now for the class Convio Flex 1380 Custom, this is by Hon47. 18.24 megabytes download, change lock 1.2, it's been remodeled the back axis, added missing dirt textures, fixed wheel chocks clipping through the header, along with this, it's improved the full animation and sound, new configurations of new brand has been added, along with this, improved modicon, stereo icon and screenshots, so that's just the icons that often mod in that, so more of a mod hub and visual aesthetic piece now and screenshots in that. Along with that, as we renamed to the Convio Flex 1380 Custom, I am not sure what this was named previously, so do apologize on that. And for our final update of today, we got the Class Lexion 410 for 80s by E123. 79.7 megabytes download, this is an awesome pack, and change lock 1.3.3 is a simple one as is just the heights of the headers and combine feeders. On to our new mods, we got the Palace in Las Niki. This is by Mishalik Wodzika, Wodeska, sorry. 34.28 megawatts of download and this is a Polish manor house. This is located in Las Niki, which is in the southwest region of Poland. But yeah, as the mod itself as we're looking at, it's a simple farmhouse. You cannot enter it. Got your wardrobe there, and if you go around to the corner, this is going to be your front door where you can see and out your little trigger point. But overall, first impressions this is a very nice, rustic old rundown manor house. It's similar to what you'll see here in the UK in that. But obviously, in, in the Polish style now, you know, you've got the woodwork there, brick and mortar stuff and that. Absolute like the detail in that. Slot count is 10, goes down to 1. So you find this under buildings, under farmhouses. Go towards the end, it is 80,000 to purchase. Day maintenance of 20 bucks. And yeah, it says buildings from the beginning of the 20th century, so early 1900s, which does look very much like. Nice little house, love the detailing, like you got the chimney sacks as well, Nat. Overall, a nice quality mod, but yeah, this was the Palace in Nazniki by Mechanic Wadeska next. Now for the weighing station, this is by Holden HB Modding and Border Farmer. It is 2.65 megabytes to download. Slot count is 33, goes down to I think 1 or 2. But yeah, first of all you find this under tools, yeah, it goes down to 2 slots. Price 8,000 by day maintenance of 20 bucks. 
Alright, there's a classic simple way station. You've got a little drive through ball area over here. And then, yep, yeah, you've got your main bridge over here. Very similar to what you see on a lot of maps and that, but just some like added touches and that, you know, you've got the curbs and that. Got stones that gets put down when you free place it in that, or place on build mode normally. So yeah, let's go into our tractor here. Oh yeah, sort of little show off the waiting app being the waiting in action, so there we go. We weigh fourteen point six tons, which is to be expected. Yeah, simple drive off. I like the flower pots and that, nice little detail in that. Overall, a simple mod, but it's been well done and well designed. And that was the weighing station by Holden HB Modding and Border Farmer. Next, on to our third and final place mod for the day. We got the medium grain sources by H9C Haddock. 7.7 .7 megabytes to download, some slots on console. And yeah, simply what it says, it's a little shed in that brick and more shed. Like store grain, crops, and that, equipment, bells, pallets. Whatever you want to desire that. So, got three doors. I like the sound of that. Lighting. I don't think there is a light on this, by the looks of it. No, that's the gate in that. Let's go around. No, yeah, I can't see no lighting. But yeah, anyways. So, you find this under sheds. Go towards the end. It is 40,000 to buy. Day maintenance of 10, as I mentioned, some slots on console goes down to 1. And yeah, I think what I want to do is hop over to our case magnum that. Because yeah, I want to see how it looks like when you put grain in that. So, having a little quick look at it in that. So, yeah, so it looks like it's got an automatic light at night. So, I think you could drive in here. Got this little device section over here now, so potentially grain could go here and storing equipment could be here or vice versa. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter now. This all comes down to you now what trailers you're using that, so I've got the TARDIS XL tipper in that, so tip side right, yes, that's all set up and go. But yeah, I also want to see how it looks like you know storing grain in that, so I've got a bit of wheat. And there we go, just keep on sorting that grain. And then, yeah, what you can do is, you know, come here with a bucket from a tight hander, front of the tractor, or even use a conveyor belt snack. And the job's a good one. So, all I'm going to do is drive out. And I think what if I do is I'll come back around again, keep on tip side right. Oop. Yeah, be careful I'm not hitting to the side snack. This is a large tractor, I can see. Got really no issues with fit fitment wise, so. There we go. But yeah, I mean, I'm using the larger air to store our grain than that. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. My little cock up there, so what I'm going to do is a cheeky reset. How much is left in the trader? Four, four and a half thousand litres, so that is what? 200,000 litres I've used. And yeah, let's get rid of that bloody trailer. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Minor clipping at the edges and that. Yeah, that does... Mm. So yeah, be a bit careful with storing grain, I'll say. But again, I just literally done it random with a trailer and that. If you're going to do this realistically, you'll use something like a bucket and that, or a conveyor belt and that, and stack it up and that. So, just a little note to be worth noting. So yeah. That was about 200,000 litres or so. If you had a proper setup, you could probably get about double that, 400,000 litres in this section here. And yeah, you've still got little spaces here in there, creating a little workshop, store equipment. Again, feel free to use it as ever you wish. But anyways, that is the medium grade storage by NYC Haddock. Next. On to our tools and equipment. So starting off with we've got the Lizard Titan 19-5. This is by Classic America Icons Modding at Ballo 2003. In terms of slot count it is 2 goes down to 1. And it's a lever that can be used for side compacting. So I've got a bit of chaff over there that needs leveling. But also you can use this for snow ploughing that, clearing snow and that. 
and this is redesigned for the larger tractors based on the 6 meter width. So, go down two levers, go towards the end, weighs 2.3 tons, so definitely a lot heavier compared to the base game stuff. 6 meters working width, for now 6 meters wide. Basic color palette, so yeah, feel free to use whatever you wish. So yeah, I've got a modded John Deere here, 670 horsepower I think. I'm going with shipping 5,000 horsepower anything. It's going something a bit realistic in that, so look it up. So in terms with options that, so L1, right stick, left to right, tilts or pivots the header in there. And then up and down on the right analog stick whilst having L1 down. Raises and lowers the lever like so. So I'm thinking all the way to the ground, but a little lift, a little, little lift, a little lift to it, so. Actually, no, may need. So, yeah, there we go. Spraying out that shaft and that. And actually, I've done a pretty good job of it, actually, to be fair, and that. That's proper squished that, so. If I'm just keep up some more of that, keep on spraying out. That actually does a pretty good job in that. In terms of you know pushing this massive stack over here, fully lowered to the ground. But yeah, I am using a powerful tractor here, but you know what? It's not having any issues with it. With that six meter working width and that, you've got a lot of headroom here. So yeah, you can distribute that weight, that force being acted upon. So yeah, you've got a large pit in that. Very quickly, you can get everything leveled out. Oh yeah, we'll get we'll go down to here. We'll pivot it down towards the ground. If I pivot up, yeah, pivot it up. That scoop, scoops it, and then yeah, just sort of takes it across. But yeah, keep it flat on that. Keep it close to the ground. And that's where you can start like, proper pushing it and spreading the chaff out, so... Overall, oh sorry for the voice break there. Overall, not too bad. Actually, I do like it now, you know. Stuff you don't really see often in that, you know. Like, in terms of levers and that. I'm looking on the model page right now, and again, besides from the likes of, like, the K9 Dozer blade and that by Coral Farms, which has only a limited application based on what mods is supported by it, because it uses a like, undermount, Rather than a three-point linkage, so this is something very nice to see, and I do love to see things like this on FS22. But anyways, that is the Lizard Titan 19-5 by Classic American Icons Modding at Ballo 2003. Next. Now for the grain shipment, this is by GL Mods, 2.91 megabytes to download. And these are trailers that are based on the Sugarcane trade that, so first of all goes to Sugarcane Technology. We've got these, the Massey Ferguson 3012 and the Colossus 10,000. But you'll find these under auger wagons. Go towards the end. So yeah, in terms of slot counts, it is 5 slots for the TT and 4 slots for the Massey Ferguson. And yeah, so these could do literally everything, including the seed add-on stuff, which I forgot to uninstall. But yeah, all your basic crops, furloughs and that. And then compared to here, yeah, that even does the grass, chaff, sugar cane, and a lot of good stuff in that. So it doesn't do the crops and that. But yeah, overflow is set with closed size for loaded grains and other products. It's ideal for those who doesn't have much time for the animations. And it says it's got a Dump pipe function of easy unloading. When activated this function, the trailer will be unloaded at the gate. Different from the original that needs to be activated via the hydraulic control. So, yeah, let's go and have a little look here. So, I've got seed and lime in here. And actually, what I want to check is, does these have a false weight? 5.6, 6 tons. I think they do have a false weight in that, because yeah, look at that, 5.6, 11.5 tons, and if we go to our auger wagons, 
yeah, 7.37.8. Oh no, sorry, yeah, 12.4 and then 0.5, so, correction, no, it doesn't have a false weight, but yeah, it doesn't feel like it's, you're pouring the load on it, so, obviously in terms of controls, there's not much besides the front pipe out, so, that will tip up like so, or lift up, and start tipping, but then, it doesn't automatically unload, you can still have space where you want to manoeuvre in that, so, Let's say you know, we'll take it to our cell point that sell this, so you can literally drive it like this Nat. Bear in mind you will have some I was at raising the centre of gravity of it, so it can be a bit more prone to tipping. And there we go, we are tipping out. Might not going up because we are maxed. And there we go. See ya. Don't now want to put the pipe back in. That is some very nice animation in that. And I'm sure this is going to be very similar. Also, these do have a attacher and a pin hook attacher on the rear. So, this one here has got a pin hook attacher with a pin hook, well, male and female there. This one's slightly different than that. This has got a bit of a weird coupling, so you can do these in tandem the TT ones, but the Massey ones, new. No. Bear in mind, you can have a train of these together, but it's just not mix and match, if you know what I mean. So yeah, a little thing to know on that. But yeah, so let's go and have a look. So, with the seat, pipe out. As I lift it up, tip it. Controls are exactly the same. And yeah, so we can't do uh, oh no, we can do other loot here now. First of all, that option wasn't popping up, but yeah. It's very similar is if not exactly the same to what we just looked at. But yeah, I do like the again like the look of it that it's basically a basically model asset. That has to be modified, but only if you had more of these than that, so overall not too bad. There we go, like that animation style on that. But anyways, that is the Grand Transit Shipment by GL Mods. Next. Now for the Lizard 875 Grain Cart. This is by Caceres Modding. 15.42 megabytes to download. Slot count is 7 goes down to 1 after purchasing. So yeah, this is a very small, well I'll say very small, a small single axle orgo wagon. So, like the ones we just looked at, you'll find these under Orgo Wagons. Go sort towards near the end, 875. Starting price at 37,900. Holds 30,834 liters. Why that is at an odd number is I'm sure that's in, in bushels. So, 30,834 liters in bushels is 875 US bushels. So, that's why it's a bit of an odd number now. Like on the Mod Hub page, it says 30,800, or at least in game, I mean. But yeah, on the Mod Hub page, it says 30,834. That's because it is in bushels and that, which, which is how you should measure crops rather than in liters and that. Bushels seems to make, make more sense for a lot of people. Even though I wish for the next game, we do have the option, even me as a Brit and that, which have the option in bushels and that, but yeah, my little deviation on that. So this will take fertilizer, seed, and your basic crops and that. Nothing too flamboyant about it. Will brands, we got lizards, standard. Mighty standard and standard two, so a bit of a chunkier boy. Standard three, standard four, back to standard, BKT standards, continental standards, standard two, Michelin standard two and standard. So you got your doors, yeah, like that door narrows, and then your normal tires. And yeah, back to a lizard. For decal styles, you got one, two, three, and back to one. And in terms with the attacher position, so this is going to be that pin hook attacher there at the front. So you've got centered and inverted. So that's really it. Color option, it's got a custom blue. And then that sort of, yeah, nice dark blue. But then, yes, also you've got your base game color palette. Design color, so if we select red, 
Now change the edges on there. Rim color. Missing configuration, so got black, grey, and print. So yeah, I may need a minor small update in that to fix that. But yeah, overall, nice little mod here, so... It is a single axle, so be careful when you got it zoned up and detached it, because there is a chance with single axle or wagons of it going away. So yeah, cover on and off. Very quick animation. Pipe out. And then L1, right stick up and down, does the little auger in there, so once that's unfolded, there we go, tip that. Then you've got tip side pipe, and also you've got an option for the green door at the back. So at the back door, yeah, I think that's at the back, but we can test that in a sec, so let's go over here. Also, brake lights, lights. Left indicator, right indicator. Doesn't have any beacons by the looks of it, so I got 10,000 years of core in our harvester. So, yes, yeah, go and unfold you. There we go. Corn is going in. So, you hop up and have a little look. Not too bad. But yeah, I think, you know what, let's fill this up a little bit more, so... I'll go over here to our multi-through fill point. Fill that with core and see how it looks when it's full. Rather nice. There's no clip-in, so that I do like. Also, that little animation of the covers and that, that I like. So yeah, got option for the green door and that, so I'm going to do pipe out. See, I think we need that out first, then unload. I thought something at the back of that, so. Uh. Yeah, we're getting that sound. Oh, wait a minute. Is that out of there? I'm not sure exactly, so I think. You know what? Let's go to our cell point. Ah, yeah, it's right at the bottom, you see? Ah, fair enough, not too bad, actually. Yeah, actually, now, I've actually got to do mines, you know? So, rather than, you know, have to run augers and that, because there are so many times I've gone to a cell point with an auger wagon, because it gives you, like, a contract, or that's all you can afford on your farm and that. Ah, when it's, like, those, like, narrow grain silos and that, eh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in that, so... That I like as an option. But yeah, so let's go and unfold. No, not that. Point, that's what you want. Nice animation, that. Also, you can pivot the head in that. That I like as well, so... Overall, a nice quality mod. And that is the Lizard 875 Brain Cart by Caserius Modding. Next. On to our final equipment for the day. We got the Val's Daily Trailers Pack. This is by Mirazet or Mirazet. 16.4 megabytes to download. Terms with slot counts. These are seven each. And yeah, these are four four actual trailers in that. Got different configurations and capacities. It's got wheels, decals, cutters, as well as a adjustable drawbar. So yeah, this is a little cracker for trailing that. So go towards the end. There we go. Again, also I think this is a new brand, Valzeli. Now I don't think I've heard of them before. I know also Mirrors or Mirrors has done a Valzeli Cubex trailer, or uh, which is a manure spreader. Now, but apart from that, yeah, that was all platforms. I think. Yeah, this is the second time I've seen this brand. So yeah, nice to see more brands. That again, different brands into the game. That so you got your 4x and your extreme 8 so this i like even though the 4x is a lot better in terms of capacity and that but anyway so onto the 4x 40 yeah 40,000 to buy initially got a capacity of 40,000 liters and 53,000 liters so 
this has got four axles and eight wheels. Is it four axles? I think that's how it works. But yeah, 40,000 years or 53,000 years. So for this extra 13,000 years, that's going to cost you 1,500 bucks. Wheels automatically comes as Treadborg. Also, you've got BKTs, Nokians, Versteins, Michelins, and back to Treadborg. Decals, you got your Ball and Decals 2019. Then you got your Ball and Colorable Decal, so that will be determined by this. Then you got your Flag and Decals 2019. Same with the color options. So yeah, actually, I, I like the Ball now. You got the Ball, the Extreme, which I approve. Selfish, I know. Also got a little hint of the Italian flag. Main colour option, so it comes automatically as a John Deere green. But you also have a custom black mat. Actually, I kind of like that. <laughs> Weird, I know, but that I like. Room colours, hot pink. Oh, sorry, design colours, so... That's going to change the little pistons there at the front. Nothing on the inside in that. Decals we just looked at. Rims. So to go with a nice green, there you go. On to the Extreme 8, it is pretty much exactly the same, just different weights. But also that is far cheaper and even when you look at the maximum, that is... Yeah, 40, yeah, yeah sorry, with the 4X, yeah, 40,000 68,000 years. Even with the larger one, you're looking at, what, 45 grand? Now for this largest one, you're looking at 34,604. 57,000 litres, so really at least two. I'll say go with the, the Extreme 8 to be fair. But, anyways, on to the Extreme 8. Yeah, just a minor thing I completely forgot, so do apologize about being a bit all over the place just then. But, anyway, so 30, 42, 44, 57,000 litre capacity. Little brands is like the same we just looked at, so I'm not going to go over those again. Decals, you got the exact same as again we just looked at. Colour configurations. There you go. So I should just pick a black on that so that changes the little pistons and that. So these sort of hydraulics. Decal colours. And then yeah, room colours. So again, we just looked at. So I'm just going to quickly show these over again. But yeah, in terms of how they perform, because they do hold pretty much everything, these weigh a ton when they're fully loaded up. And I mean, in terms of, like, you know, the weight in that, very realistic in that. So, this is just wheat in that. And, you know, I am absolutely struggling. So, I should go onto our trails again. So, I've got the largest one here. So, that weighs 9.4 tons. So, keep that in mind. So, fine enough, I'm going to our way station mod because. I want to see how much this weighs because you see how much we're struggling with this and what we're using is the class 960 Terra Track so 450 horsepower so not a small tractor but so yeah I'm going to detach you so initially we were 9.4 tons now 62.4 tons is that 62 and a half so that is a big boy that is so when you're using these trailers and fill up to the capacity i do recommend making sure you got at least 500 horsepower 600 horsepower say so yeah a little bit of a word of warning but overall apart from that a nice little cracking trailer that is so we just looked at the valzelli trailers pack by mirost Next, on to our vehicle. So we've got two to look at. So first of all, we're looking at the Hoyer Lyman H488. This is by Onor Emery. 7.3 megabytes of download. Slot count is nine. Goes down to one. And yeah, this is a very small tractor. So first of all, you'll find this under small tractors. Go towards the end. So we'll have a little drive around in a sec. So 45,000 to buy. 90 horsepower. 100 liters fuel. 24 horsepower. Weighs 3.8 tons. And I mentioned nine slots goes down to one. So yeah, this is an old style tractor and that. So definitely not modern. 
Wilbrandt, got your treasure board, standard, standard 2, Narrows, BKT, standard, treasure board, standard, Narrows and that, and the BKT and that. Turns with beacons, you got no or yes on the roof. Warning signs, no or yes. So if you do have these, you will have an option to fold them, just to so let you know. Window tint, so you got standard and dark. Main colour, you got your standard, sort of like beigey kind of colour in that, beigey yellow in that. And then along with that, you got your base game colour palette. Yeah, it's like a it's like a dark bright. Yeah, it's like a dark beige. It is, I think. Room color, you got your standard gray, black. Well, sorry, gray and black custom, and then your standard color palettes. License plate. So yeah, I got one here in a kind of not quite a Ford blue, but close enough. Obviously, I got the dark tint on, so. I think I'll go into this one actually so you can actually see in here so controls and that so turn around L1 fold and unfold so that would be your warning sign so if I go to here L1 next fold and unfold your little warning signs and that besides from that I can't see nothing else being folded R1, L1, yeah, nothing else. It's got a, was it, CBT direct transmission, that, so... Up to 26 horsepower, sorry, 26 miles per hour. No problems whatsoever. No forceful tractor, handles very well. It's got a basic three-point linkage along with a basic rear three-point. Lights at rear. Got those little pods. Left indicator, right indicator, beacons. See, I don't have out on this one. But yeah, there we go. Got your beacons. See, so yeah, overall, not too bad little tractor here. Now, at the end, they does the job at 90 horsepower. Be a good little starting tractor for someone in that. But anyway, so that is the Hure Lightman H488 by Unor Emery. Next. On to our final vehicle of the day, we got the Sarah and Predator 3.0 2080. This is by G4 Modin. 44.71 megabytes download. Slot count is 24, goes down to 1 or 2. This is an interesting piece of equipment because, if you have a look, we got a boom on the front, so you know herbicide, liquid fertilizer and that. Go to the back. We got a fertilizer spreader in that. So this is a tune one. Starts at 195,000 to buy. And comes with also a chipped engine in that. So turns with your working whips in that. So the spreader working whip. So this is for your fertilizer in that. That is 28 meters. For your sprayer, for your herbicide, the fertilizer and that, that is 27 meters. So yeah, we'll go into vehicles under crop protection. Go towards the end. So yeah, that's my thought. Go over those working whips and that, because it is slightly different. Top speed, 31 miles an hour. Working speed of 50 miles an hour or 25 kilometers per hour. But yeah, that speed can differ slightly because if you go to your engines and that, so slot count goes from 24 to 1. Engine is, for, yeah, standard, 223, 31 miles an hour. With the chipped engine, doesn't change, but on the mod hub it says maximum speed of 50 or 55 kph. So I guess that's the difference with the engine that. So I thought, again, just worth mentioning that. Also, you got options of two types of adhesives. Will brands that. This is something because you've got your normal narrows. You've got your narrows with destruction. So if you want crop destruction that, even if you've got sent off. And under this area, you've got your narrow rice tires. Conical with destruction. Conical tires. Narrow rice tires with destruction. Uh, yeah, the same with Trelleborg, Michelin's, BKT Narrows, but 
without the destruction option. Same reverse line, so... Actually, I do like those white pods. Is there a phone call? But yeah, as I was saying, I do like those like rice tires now because like from this this angle it looks like quite chunky in that. But again, it looks like almost like two D way like that kind of optical illusion. Just me, maybe I don't know. I thought it was a little interesting thing. Sticker's got original, black edition. So so yeah, got original white, black edition, back to original, right flag. So you got your without. Then you got your Brazil, Rio Grande do Sol, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, USA, France, UK, nice, Portugal, Germany, agricultural, and then without. And then your left flags is exactly the same. Antenna, so you got without. Got your chrome antenna, so where is that to? Ah, there, at the front. There we go. Chrome, black, small chrome, small black, and then without. Rear light, so if you go to the back, under the spreader, so you got without. Red lights, blue, green, yellow, and then back to without. Window film, so this is without. Film one, film two, and then without, so being out like 100% and 25 or 50% tint. Room colour, so you got your star green and orange. And then on that your basic base game colour palette. Can't change anything else, just the rooms and that. So yeah, if we go into here and that, so I've got you no know, herbicide and fertilizer enabled, so I'm wondering, can you do like a this is a two in one? But yeah, it says two one and in single machine can spray fertilizers and pesticides. Yeah yeah yada. It doesn't say anything about, you know, can you do it two and one, so that I am interested in, so sorry, green cart, so first of all we got your cover, like open and close. And yeah, capacity for your dispenser is two thousand seven hundred liters. Your sprayer is 2,400, and yeah, stop checking, no, this does not do lime. And yeah, fuel is 340 litres, also thought I'd mention that. But yeah, go and unfold. And yeah, just wait for it to unfold. Elbow on, right stick left to right, does the wheels and that. But yeah, I like that sort of like so realistic folding animation. So yeah, L1 R1. What does that do? Turns your light on in the cab? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, it doesn't do the door or anything. And then R1 right stick up and down does the no icons there, so you got your one or two options there. But yeah, so Turn on sprayer. Oh, I wish we had an option for the spreader and that because you know, can imagine, you know, putting herbicide down and then also fertilizing at the same time. You know, get rid of your weeds of that and then dumping fertilizer at the same time. But, ah, uh, no, it's to no avail. Because, so, yeah, then if you fold your sprayer. Keep on pressing L1 there, set because that should change the point now where you can use the spreader. And there we go, yeah. We are fertilizing, so fortunately it's not a full tune one. But we'll try to keep this folded. Well, sorry, keep this going. Unfold this because you yeah, don't see can potentially you do two in one. So we're still fertilizing. And uh, when, once it's fully folded or fully unfolded, yeah, oh, that, that is a bit of a bummer. 
Also, hoping we could do a bit of a cheeky trick there, you know, a bit of fast farming in that way. But it's no avail, Nat. But overall, cracking mod, Nat. And that is the Silent Predator 3.0 2018 by GFR modding. And that is it for all the mods to say for Thursday, the 19th of September 2024. And this will be out sometime this evening tonight. It's currently 8 o'clock, so I'll get it edited, uploaded within the next hour or so. Also, I'm going to start working, well, I have some, a bite to eat now. Start doing the map tour for her Schladen by Flaku Farmer. Even though it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 fucking required mods. I. Yeah, I don't like maps where there's required mods, but at the end of the day, I'm a content creator. I want to give maps a fair chance, even though they do have required mods and that. I absolutely hate that. But anyways, they'll rent the hair. I'm going to save that for the map tour now, because... Yep, yeah, I do like have a bit of a renty pants moment, as some would say. But anyways, as always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to click down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's be far from Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.